Rick Euchre. Rick, where do you predict Kawhi ends up? I still have him ending up with the Clippers. Now, mm -hmm. it's become a little more problematic because you're taking KD out of the equation. He's no longer on the list with the Clippers because they're in go mode now. What Kawhi Leonard learned this year was trying to win it as the lone guy or as the top guy, and I, I mm -hmm. agree with you in that they had he had a lot of help and a lot of depth, but nonetheless, the, the lone true superstar, does he want to do that again? And if he's going to the Clippers, who else am, is joining me? And who else can carry the Nobody. Mm. How do you know that? Nobody. <laughs> well, you wish. Oh, you want Jimmy Buckets? Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe. So okay. that's the question is, who's that second guy that ultimately Kawhi is going to say, if you get him, I'm in. And that's going to be the challenge here. I'm told that the Toronto Raptors have a fighting chance of being able to retain him. I told you that, Gil. Yeah. Most of this intel that I have is from the other side of the equation. What Kawhi is actually thinking and what his preference list is, nope. we're not getting a whole lot from that side. The Knicks expect that they're going to have a sit down. The Sixers and that, I've heard, has more to do with Uncle Dennis, who lives he does. nearby, he lives adding near. another one to the He actually to, lives nearer to the, to the Sixers than to the two New York teams. Exactly. Yeah. So the Knicks believe that they're going to get at least the opportunity to present their case. Mm. But when I look at where ultimately going back to where Kawhi's from, what he wanted, what he's used to climate-wise, and that the Clippers have a lot of young talent that's already been to the playoffs once, I see that as ultimately being the place that he ends up. Mm. I still I, I, I still said it, and Skip, we talked about this, the uh, I think, Monday or Tuesday. And I believe it's 60-40. He goes back to Toronto. Maybe he does a two-in-one. Maybe he does a mm. one-in-one. Because all these guys have at least one more year on their contract, Skip, so they can stay, they can try and run it back and see what happens. Mm -hmm. He can say, okay, and then he can sign a, a, a bigger deal and go elsewhere. Uh, I just think that he has a really good situation in Toronto. He knows. They, whatever, Kawhi, you don't want to play back-to-backs, no problem. You want Uncle Dennis to have access. You want him to get on the plane, no problem. You want some of your boys to come, be able to come and have access, no problem. They rolled out whatever kind of car color carpet you want to name, red, mm. blue, green, it doesn't matter. Mm. They rolled it out for him. Mm. He knows what he has at Toronto. Yep. Man, this kid to go somewhere else, I mean, they can say that, but are they going to look at you funny? Toronto never blinked an eye when he says, you know, it's a little tight here tonight. Mm. They didn't bat an eye. Are the Clippers going to be that way? Is any other team going to be as forgiving to say, nah, bro, you just go ahead, load management 22 times? Hmm. Are they going to be that kind of friendly? Hmm. And you know you've already done it. You, I mean, you, you're king. Uh, 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 Canada, I know his prime minister is, is the chief figure there, uh, just uh, Trudeau. Mm -hmm. But Kawhi bigger than he is right now, and he's absorbing it. He's loving it, every mm. second of it. Mm. Ace in the hole, Alex McKechnie. He's the guy that has taken care of him from a physical standpoint. Mm -hmm. And Kawhi believes in him. From day one, those two have been together. He's been the one who's handled mm -hmm. keeping him right. Mm -hmm. And he was with the Lakers at one time, very well Should reputed. That's the guy that you don't hear a name, uh, mm. don't hear his name a whole lot. Mm. He's an important part of this equation. Mm. Mm. Yet after game five against Philly, it was reported he was sitting by his locker, just yelling to nobody, my knee hurts. My knee hurts. And yeah, you kept hurt. saying it's a big issue, big concern. It was. I don't he was, know. He yeah, didn't keep that. Out. Yeah, you, you saw him yeah. limping on some occasion. He limped. He limped. Limped all the way to finals game. MVP. But he didn't limp in the finals. But he limped. He <laughs> did, Skip. The, you uh, saw it. Sixers. And to me, the ultimate disrespect would be to go to the Sixers. It just would. And I, I believe <laughs> what you said is true. I believe this is Uncle Dennis's plan and design. He took over all the finances, all the business dealings for this still young man and everything uncle dennis wants that it's it's why he left san antonio everything was orchestrated by uncle dennis to get out of san antonio you could have made it move give okay. him a max okay. and let him sit okay but he wouldn't play so he was hurt he just quit he was hurt so the point is now this would be the ultimate shot at the toronto fans if you go to a conference rival because i know people thought milwaukee because they won the most games but the, the team is Philadelphia, and I still say if Embiid hadn't been sick and hurt and sick and hurt, 
Philly would have won that series, and we might be talking about Philly being the NBA champs. Right. But Embiid would have to be 100% right, and he never was even close to 100%. Mm-hmm. So to, to even think about going there to take a meeting with them is just the ultimate shot at Raptors fans. And I thought it was a small shot yesterday that he shows up three days after the parade. He's still in Toronto. That's the good news. And he goes to a Blues Jays game, and what does he do? He's taking self-video of the superstar on the visiting yeah. team, Mike Trout. Yeah, greatness like greatness. Who plays for the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Aha! You, Aha! Why you do that? You now, you, we've, seen, we've seen great performances by other great players in other sports, and the great players from those other sports are when Tom Brady has a big game, LeBron James, mm. other players, why? Goat, goat. When LeBron James played well, goat, goat. When baseball players, now all of a sudden you try to take it way over there mm-hmm. and try to see that's what he's doing. Well, he's, 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 he's charting a co- course mm. to LA. No, he's not. Mm. LeBron, once upon a time, wore his Yankees cap to an Indians playoff game. Well, he a fan. Talk about disrespect. He a fan. Okay. He grew up in Akron, Ohio. So? You have to have a little bit of respect. For no, you don't. Him. Yes, you do. Hold on. Don't wear your cap. Don't wear your Yankee cap and go sit in the stands. Just because what are you doing? just because he's not from New York doesn't mean he could be a Yankees fan. Because the Yankees had a fan in rural South Georgia. Mm. That would be moi. Hmm. So Okay. LeBron even wore an Emmett Smith jersey on the sideline yeah. pregame. At a Browns game. Oh, you got no problem with that, huh? How do you do that? Easy. Call huh? you LeBron James. What are and you that's your thinking? favorite team. What are that's you your thinking? Team. I got a ro- I got a roll with Skip on this. No. LeBron, LeBron is one of the all-time front runners ever mm. when it comes to who his allegiance is. Yankees with. <laughs> Cowboys? It is. He's Cowboys. Hello. When the wow. last time the Cowboys won anything? Uh, well, they got a bunch of trophies in there. Jerry's <laughs> office. Yeah, that they was got that five was. of them. They have they had they had some before Jerry got there. Yeah. But what have they got in the last 25 years? Well, what have they done in LeBron's childhood time? Yeah, you know, that's yeah, exactly what got him. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. they, they won one. Yeah. He was 11. Okay. All right. So I I'm with you. I'm still leaning Clippers, mm. but it's going to depend on who is the other, who's yeah. the co-star, yeah. and I'm not sure about that. Yeah. No. It, is a Kemba Walker enough? Is a Al Horford enough? Al Hor- is what? Jimmy Butler Why enough? y'all keep talking about Al Horford? Y'all talk about Al Horford like he Tim Duncan. Al Horford was 13 and 6. He's basically a 15 and 6, 15 and 7 guy. And people, Al Horford, Al, Al Horford's not changing you anybody's know life. You, you can win with Al Horford. Win what? 60 games and get swept like they did in Atlanta? You, you know what you can do? You can get to Game 7 of the Conference Finals against yeah. LeBron. And take it L. Okay. And then where you got you, there. And where did you get you last year? Yeah. The same – was that Horford – was he playing last year? It's in, the, it's in the eye of the beholder as far as Kawhi or who that other star mm-hmm. is going to be. That's going to be the determinant. Well, can we stop saying – Al Horford is not a star. Hmm. He's a good player. He's not a star. He's a good player. Hmm. But in the, same, in the same vein that we talked about the Toronto Raptors, Marcus Saul. Pascal Siakam, mm. players that are good and intangible when it comes to winning championships, yes. Al Horford is in that mix. Yep. Can be vital to a team winning a championship. There's a mm. lot of the ins and outs of what Al Horford does doesn't show up in the box score. Well, I need him to show up. Because guess what's showing up in his bank account? <laughs> $33 million. Mm. That's showing up in his bank account. It so is. I need his stats to show up. And see, can we stop this? Oh, Toronto won without a lottery pick. You take an isolated incident. And to just just wipe away fifty years of NBA Finals, come on, don't do that. That's an isolated incident. That's happened one time in fifty NBA Finals, and now we say, well, that's the way to go about it. Really? There've been other there've been other teams that have not without won, a lottery pick. One collectively, yes, not in their prime. Yeah. Dallas Mavericks when they won, but they had, but they had a lottery. Chauncey won with his, what you call, but he was a lottery. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.